what's going on wizards the other day right i did this job i filmed it i'm going to play it to you now i had i was it was a bit of a big goggles moment but i'm going to we're going to go through the rule book after this and i'm going to show you specifically in the rules where i fucked up okay let's go okay so have a look at this old beauty it's pretty neat whoever done this one originally weird that they only run six mil for the metering yet they've got 16 mil coming in here that's on at the moment I gotta go change the circuit around because as you can see it's only got the two power going through the um, ELCB this is how old this one is it's still she's still quite functional so but since I've played around with the lighting I have to modify the circuit so that's why I'm adding this bad boy and we're gonna go split this up and I'll show you how I change it okay so if you look carefully at this circuit diagram you see one three five and you've got a neutral um, the way that they work, they're an imbalance between active and neutral, so that's why you had the neutral between maybe between one and three and five and neutral before. Now I've changed, changed it so that you get three circuits going through here because AS uh, 2018 states that you can have three circuits per RCD. So now I'm just going to run my neutral and uh, oh, run my other active tail into this um, little 10 amper here. Okay, so I've added the neutral bar in. Uh, line kind of comes in at the top here, not really the way how I like to do it, and load comes out in at the bottom here. And I'll just add a bit of 6mm into this other bar here to obviously carry the current for both the two power and the lining, because this is only a little baby board. So let's fire this bad boy up and test it. Is the test button going to work? Beauty. Let's actually cause a fault on it now. Just, um... We usually just put it between active and earth. So this is the line side, so let's try the load side. This should trip. See, it's my meter's on continuity. Bingo. So I know that my lighting now works. And that's how it's done, boys. And contrary to most people's beliefs, we do fucking clean up after ourselves. Because <laughs> I hate getting shit, getting stuck in my test button and my RCD doesn't work. This, this thing is, this RCD is probably older than me. It's incredible, but she's still functional and still works fine. So, so you let it be, till, till, till the day it dies. Okay, so we'll start at this specific clause here. This is an amendment from 2018, AS 3000, 2018. So it says for final sub-circuits, you, you know, must have RCD protection. Now, this original installation didn't have RCD protection on it. So I, I fulfilled that requirement, okay? It also goes in states here, uh, down the bottom, oh, in these notes here. What's that, 2.6.2? .2. Um, initially, right at the bottom here, RCDs may operate at any value of residual current in excess of 50% of the rated residual current. So that's stating that your RCD may trip, you know, at 15 milliamps. And it says the loading of the circuit sh sh should be such that the leakage current does not exceed one third of the rated residual current. And in that installation, that was correct. Now this is where I fucked up, under 2.6.2.4. It says in residential installation, it's not more than three, which I was also correct. So final sub-circuit shall be protected by one RCD, where there is no more than one final sub-circuit. And then it says at the bottom here, a minimum of two RCDs shall be installed. And that's where Trev made his mistake. So I hope you guys learned from that something today, because I obviously did, because I went back and read the fucking book. And that's why we call it the Bible. Righto. If um, you guys have any comments, just leave them below. Cheers.